Hey everybody, this is Total Gamer Junkie, I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about the possibility of Nathan Prescott being able to get out of jail. Now, this video really only applies to the people who start Life is Strange 2, and they choose the option to sacrifice Chloe to save Arcadia Bay. So, you know, the monsters, you degenerates, like, you all disgust me. Like, if you sacrificed Chloe to save Arcadia Bay in your first walkthrough, unsubscribe. I don't want you on my channel. I'm kidding, of course. You know, I love Life is Strange. I've played all possible routes in it. You know, so... Really, like... Yeah, it's your choice what you do. I'm not gonna judge you for that. Whether or not you did it. But, you know, if you... If you chose to sacrifice Arcadia Bay... To save Chloe. If you chose to sacrifice Chloe to save Arcadia Bay. You know, that's your choice. You have your own reasons. Just like I have my own reasons. Bay over Bay. But anyway, in all seriousness, let's get started on this video. Okay, so it's not exactly clear what happens to Nathan in prison, or Jefferson for that matter, but um, there's actually a mugshot you can find in David's RV of Nathan Prescott. And it says, Nathan Prescott, 10th of the 8th, 2013. Now, episode 1 of Life is Strange takes place on the 7th, and because Monday is the 7th, Tuesday is the 8th, Wednesday is the 9th, Thursday is the 10th, and October is the 11th, and the 11th is when the storm hits. So, we, so Nathan is arrested for shooting Chloe, and then we see, um, with the, um, because Max changes time, we see those photographs, they begin changing, and in one of them, we see Nathan there, and he's talking to the police, so we obvious, so obviously he's in custody, but he's not in He's not in prison or jail yet, he's in, like, being interrogated and questioned. And so I assume he obviously rats on Jefferson. And so this way Jefferson gets arrested too. And this mugshot, since it's on the 8th, the day after Chloe dies, I assume that this is when he was arrested and sent to jail. Which is like, you know, like, good fucking riddance. Like, I know some of you people say he was manipulated, but, and in a way you're right, but... He chose to abduct Rachel Amber. I mean, I know he didn't mean to kill her, but it was his choice that no no one talked him into it. So yeah, so you, so you can't convince me otherwise, or well, you can try if you want. Anyway, getting back on topic. So after Sean talks to David, this is if you chose to sacrifice Chloe to save Arcadia Bay. You can overhear him having a conversation with Joyce, though it's one-sided, so we only hear his voice. And he mentions, uh, and, he, I, and you know he's talking about Nathan, he's saying, I hope they don't let him out again, and you know how lawyers can be. So, does Nathan Prescott have the possibility of getting out of jail? Well, let's take a look at the Prescotts. So, the Prescotts have all this money, they have all this wealth, and... As you know, sometimes with the system, it can be corrupt, you know, innocent people can go to jail and sometimes they're not released, like, so I've seen a few videos of people who have been uh, convicted of a crime they didn't commit and they ended up spending 12, 12 years, 20 years in prison before they, before the real killer was found. Same goes with criminals, you know, some, sometimes criminals can get a light sentence. And it's like, alright, you killed someone, okay, you're, you, it's like you're a killer, a murderer, a child molester, and you only get like a few years? How does that work? I mean, because the justice system in this world, it's not perfect, it has its flaws. And I believe that these flaws also apply to the justice system in Life is Strange. And Sean Prescott does have an image to keep, because it's made clear before the storm when he's talking to Nathan that all he cares about is his image, you know, his name, his legacy. So I assume that Sean would hire the best lawyers that he can and do everything he can to get Nathan out of jail to help, you know, um, reduce his sentence. And I can imagine that this smug bastard just somehow trying to pin it all on Chloe and Jefferson, you know, saying like Jefferson manipulated manipulated my son and Chloe Price was, like aggravated him. He didn't mean to kill kill her, but she was the one who started everything. So you know it's 
so you know I can see him being a real piece of shit about it and just trying to take the blame of Nathan and blame ev- and shift the blame elsewhere you know and the thing with and the thing is people who are rich who have power and influence they can often get away with a lot of shady things and I wish it wasn't like that everyone should uphold the same standards you know we should all be doesn't matter if you're rich or poor black white what religion you are race it doesn't matter you if you break the law you should be punished for it and it shouldn't matter who or what you are you know every the laws should be the same for everyone so anyways that's really all i wanted to talk about in this video let me know what you think in the comments below do you think nathan prescott has the possibility of getting out of jail or do you think he's going to stay in jail for the rest of his life let me know what you think in the comments below this is Tolkien with Junkie, signing off.